Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 12th of 2024 is titled Perseid Meteors Over Stonehenge. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image uh, down toward the bottom. We see the great stone circle from England, which is known as Stonehenge. And that's a, believed to be an ancient astronomical site as a way of measuring the calendar to be able to determine the different times of year more accurately than other types of observations. So it's thousands of years old, built long before any kind of records were there. So we can't say for sure what it was done, what it was designed for. But we can use different alignments that we see today to really try to piece back what it might have been used for. Now up above we in the sky we see our Milky Way stretching up from Stonehenge there up toward the top of the image. And that is our own galaxy as we see it from within. So that is our Milky Way. And down toward the bottom especially we can see the brighter star clouds and a lot of the dark dust clouds that make up the plane of our galaxy. Now, of course, and one of the big things we're looking at here is the meteors. So the Perseid meteors that we see stretching out here. And you can kind of imagine if you trace them back, they all seem to be coming from one point in the sky. And that point would happen to be in the direction of the constellation of Perseus. That's how meteor showers are named. They're named after the constellation from which they appear to radiate. Now, they don't really come from a specific constellation. That is just a matter of perspective. And in fact, what we're seeing is that all of these little bits of material are following really parallel orbits through space. So they come very close to the same type of path and parallel orbits will appear to converge off in the distance, much as happens here on Earth. If you look at railroad tracks off in the distance, they appear to converge together or a distant road will appear to get narrower and narrower. And of course, you know that it's really staying exactly the same because when you get down to that rail, the end of the railroad track, it's going to look exactly the same as it is farther away. However, that perspective seems to make it converge off in the distance. And that's what happens with this. And that's what we call the radiant point of the meteor shower. The radiant is where they appear to radiate from. Now, what they are is little bits of debris that is left behind when a comet passes close to the sun. In this case, Comet Swift-Tuttle, which uh, passes close to the sun every 130 years or so. And as it comes in, material is vaporized off of it and leaves is left behind in its orbit. And that will continue to orbit around the sun. When Earth happens to pass through the orbit of the comet, which happens right about now, and uh, then we will get a meteor shower when those little bits of debris are picked up and caught in Earth's atmosphere. They strike Earth's atmosphere at very high speeds and that will cause them to vaporize in Earth's upper atmosphere. So meteors like this never make it down to the ground. It takes a much larger object than these very tiny dust grains or grains of sand to make it down to the surface of Earth. So that was our picture of the day for August 12th of 2024. It was titled Perseid Meteors Over Stonehenge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Big Sky Jet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.